Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where I will show you how to use um, the functions for the calculating the Synthesis Swiss transforms. This is SSWFTM Synthesis Swiss Window Fourier transform and SSWT Synthesis Swiss Wavelet transform. As you can see, they are quite well documented, so you can find out a lot from here. Mm, but first of all, uh, if you have not watched uh, my previous tutorials about using the functions WFTM and WTM for calculating the usual transforms, Windows Fourier transform and Wavelet transform, I recommend you to watch them, mm, because uh, the syntaxes of uh, usual functions uh, for the usual transforms and uh, the functions for the synchronous Swiss transforms, um, they are very similar, they have almost all the same properties, apart from there is two more here uh, and I will mainly concentrate on the differences between SWFT and WTM and SWT and WTM assuming that uh, all other properties you already are familiar with ok let's start let's create some test signal sampling frequency 20 Hz overall time duration 50 seconds but it consists of the as usual um, one tone at 1 Hz, one tone at 1 and 5 Hz, and one frequency modulated component. Okay, let's remove noise for now. And the WFT of this signal will be in the frequency range from 0 to 5 Hz, will be look like this. And to calculate its synchronous twist window for a transform, just add this S here. We'll have this. So clearly, synchronous transform is more concentrated. Also, it doesn't imply better time frequency resolution as follows from tests, um, but looks nicer. The same for the WT. Of the WT, well transform and. As a synchronous quiz layer transform. Yeah. Quite similar. I mean, the difference between the WFT and, w and SSW, SS SWFT and WT and WT. Also more concentrated. Okay, you can also notice that um, while uh, to calculate uh, the WFT from 0 to 5 Hz, it calculates it exactly from 0 to 5 Hz. So while to calculate the synchronous twist window for a transform, it calculates the underlying uh, window for a transform from which, uh, which is then synchronous twist from in a slightly wider frequency range. And the same you can notice with with wavelet transform. Mm, this is because it needs to normally estimate um, this uh, um, SWFT coefficients, for example. You need to take account of the all support of the corresponding component. For example, this is one tone. Mm, you see it's spread over these frequencies and if it were located somewhere here it would be spread over all these frequencies and so it is located for example in the frequency range of interest but you need to trace all its peak support to a slightly higher range to normally squeeze it because central squeezing takes into account all, all this area and if you do not take it into, uh, into account some part of it, it will be just subtracted from, from the SWFT coefficients. Okay, mm, let's now move on. In the process of calculating synchronous transforms, the usual transforms are also calculated, so you can, for example, request SSWT also to return the wavelet transform, which is synchronous to the 
zero squeezed value transform and the frequencies for which it is calculated um, and you can also request the instantaneous value well transform frequency which is the rate of phase growth of the valid coefficients WT coefficients and you will obtain okay in terms of the figure nothing changed um, and you now have the value transform returned and you can notice that while it's calculated on the 183 frequencies the actual returned WT is for 143 frequencies and the same and just it, it is just cut it to the same uh, sizes as WT and returned at the same frequencies freak so freak and W freak are equivalent here um, you see same sizes but if you do not want this if you wish to obtain the full well the transform which was calculated for 183 frequencies then then just specify the option cut freq which is by default on put it to off and it will return you the full wt okay Okay, so the cut frag it was one of the additional properties of SSWT in comparison to WT function, and the same applies for SSWFT and WFT. Um, the another additional properties, the second one and the last one, mm, is the threshold property. So by default it's zero, but if you set it to some value, then it will set all. Um, WT coefficients with amplitude slower than this value um, to zero and then calculate SWT from such value that transform so you see it was like full amplitude, more red and now it's not really good so I do not recommend you to set it just manually but you can set it to determine automatically mm by setting it to mod when it will determine the, um, it from the um, uh, deviation of the um, wavelet amplitude at the highest frequency f max so it's better to set it to ma maximum achievable frequency Nyquist frequency or just leave as default because in this case it will be to provide more appropriate threshold and nothing changes in this case but why it is really might be useful is to eliminate some noise mainly white noise so it's just uh, the denoising technique hard thresholding and if you set your signal let's corrupt our signal with some noise white noise of the 0 0.25 deviation and then let's see without threshold you see it the noise influence made your frequency profile worse while it was normal okay and with threshold without threshold, with threshold does not solve really the problem of the noisy corruption of this component just a little but you see that here are some noise influences and here are some noise influences this is without threshold and here with threshold it becomes smaller it was filtered a little yeah but in general this technique can be used for um, WT and WFT as well, but I implemented it only for the synchronous case transform because it's sometimes believed to be one of the steps of the synchronous squeezing, but 
I don't think so. I think it's not really essential and just usual denoising which can be performed or can be not performed as you wish. And also this mat it's it's not really very universal so if you will ha if you have some components at higher frequencies then it might give you not really an appropriate threshold. So it's up to you to use the denoising of the signal or not to use it. Okay, that's it. There is only some two additional properties, cut frac and threshold of the SSWT and SSWFT in comparison to WFT and WT. All other is quite similar, so good luck and thank you for watching.